practical applications of decimals. Now you must be wondering what is the practical application of decimals? I mean, why why do these decimals are there at all? I'll tell you some useful real life examples where you will understand what exactly is the point of having decimals. Now there are various units in terms of which the measurement is done. So let's say for example, uh, and this is the most common one which you would have seen, you have seen that there is centimeter, right? There is meter, there is kilometer, right? These all are units of measuring length, right? But one of the unit is greater than the other. So meter is basically more than centimeter and similarly kilometer is more than meter. So if I talk about it, one meter actually represents 100 centimeters. One kilometer represents 1000 meter. Now suppose there's a gentleman, okay, A, who has to go to a city B, which is five kilometers from A. Now he started moving, started moving, started moving. Suddenly he halted at one particular place, right? Now he didn't know how far he's come from A or how far he's from B. But someone told him that, look boss, you are more than two kilometers, right? But less than three. So if his friend, okay, let's say his friend calls him and asks him, where are you? Tell me your distance in terms of kilometers, right? So let's say if he estimates that he's come after two kilometers, he's come another 500 meters. So he says, I have come two kilometers, 500 meters, right? But the friend says, no, I just want to understand how many kilometers you've walked. In that case, I need to convert this 500 meter into kilometer. Right? We know 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters, so 500 meter will be equal to what? It will be equal to 500 upon 1000 kilometers. Right? Or simply 1 by 2 kilometer. If I divide 1 by 2, so 1 will not go into 2, so I put in a decimal point over here, 0, 5. 5 times 5 gives you, 5 times 2 gives you 10, cross. So 1 upon 2 is equal to 0.5 kilometers. So you can say I have come 2.5 kilometers. So the use of the decimal is that if you want to express any particular thing into one particular unit of measurement, then if there are any sub parts to it, that is used for by expressing the term in the form of a decimal. Similarly is the case with many other things. So let's say if you talk about weight, okay, so as weight, primary unit of measurement is kilograms, right? So if something is a whole number in terms of kilograms, let's say 10 kg, it's okay, 100 kg and so on. But if something is 10 kg, okay, and 500 grams, how do you measure this in terms of kilogram if you have to express it in kilograms? So again, what we do is we convert these grams into kilogram by using the scales that we have, okay, or the rules that we have, and this is expressed in the form of a decimal. Just like this 500 meter was equal to half a kilometer, we can convert this 500 gram into kilogram. How? We will divide 500 by 1000. Why 1000? Because we know 1000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram. So we will say 10 kg and 500 by this kg or 10.5 kg. 500 by 1000 will be again 1 by 2. We have divided this over here to get 0.5, so 10.5 kg. Other areas where you use this particular thing could be in terms of, uh, let's say, currency. So in India, you have rupees and you have paisa. In US, you have dollars and you have cents, right? So let's say 100 paisa is equal to 1 rupee, right? So in case you want to express something which is in pesas into rupees, we express it in the form of decimals. I hope this would have made some 
thing easy for you in case there are any questions please do post them thank you for being with us today